Hi guys and welcome to JTEC WP. Today I'm going to be testing out a backup system called Backblaze. What it does is it backs up all of your documents, your photos and your videos and it has unlimited storage plus you can add external drives and that's all for $6 a month. So let's check it out. Backblaze offers three types of storage, personal backup, business backup and B2 cloud storage. For this tutorial I'm going to use the personal backup. One of the main reasons I chose Backblaze was its simplicity. It literally is set it and forget it. Plus, whenever I went online to read which is the best backup system, it was regularly in the top three of the online magazine sites. It was uh, getting good recommendations on there, so I thought why not give it a try. Price-wise, I compared it to the other backup solutions. Acronis would work out significantly more than using Backblaze. Their advanced package topped out at 500 gigabytes, so I'd have to check out the premium one. I needed at least 4 terabytes, so that was going to cost at least £154, which was double the price of Backblaze. On the other hand, Carbonite, which is a very similar offer to Backblaze, again was $6 a month, so that's another possible option. With online backups, it's worth doing a quick speed test to see what your upload speed is. I was getting about 12 megabits a second, which isn't great, but it'll do. I also tested what speed Backblaze thought I was going to get. Backblaze gave me similar results. The faster your upload speed, the faster your backups complete. I got the best results by letting Backblaze manage the throttling and the threading. When I tried manual throttle, yeah, the speed dropped quite a bit, so I would leave it on automatic to get the best results for your uploads. For restoring the files, there's a couple of options. You can download them, or they'll send you a USB or a hard drive for a small fee. You'll get the money back once you return the drives. The security is also pretty good. They issue you with a personal key and use 128-bit SHA encryption. Also, I found the two-factor authentication was very easy to use as well. They offer a 15-day free trial, which is super easy to set up. Try it for free, and then all you've got to do is give them an email address, set a password, then just download the installer. Backblaze works on Windows and Mac. Simply run the installer, when it asks for permissions, click on Open. Backblaze installer would like to access files on your desktop, press OK. Install now. Add your password and it will go through the process of installing all the software. And then you'll be shown a screen to adjust your system preferences. Click on the lock to make changes, enter your password. And then we're going to look for full disk access and then we're going to tick Backblaze and close the padlock. The backup software will open straight away once you've completed the install. Let's take a quick look at the interface. So I go into Settings. You can name your computer. You can set a temporary data drive. You can also set it to warn you for when you haven't backed up. Performance, as I mentioned earlier, I'd leave that on automatic. I tested manual and it seemed to go slower, so automatic worked best. Schedule, leave it on continuous as it's recommended. Exclusions, this is where you can say don't back up this file or this folder. Security, it tells us a little bit that they use uh, military grade encryption and SSL. It also mentions about the private encryption key. If you use your own private encryption key and you lose it, no one will be able to open your data or recover it. Reports show a graphical overview of how your files are stored on the system and what's being backed up. Let's have a look at the web interface. So I sign into my Backblaze account. It's asking me for my email and password. You can see there it's showing me I've got 15 days left on my trial, how many uh, files are selected for backup, remaining files, which drives are being backed up. It's got a tab for view and restore. So you could click on download to download any files you need to recover. My restores, so if you needed to restore any files, it would show up on this list here. I haven't done any restores yet. My shared files, I think this only works with the business one. It works similar to Dropbox, how you can click on a file and share it with other people. Locate my computer, handy if your computer gets stolen and you need to report it to the police, they'll be able to track it. They give you a list of instructions on what to do should your computer be stolen. Preferences, you can set uh, the frequency of backup summaries, unsubscribe for marketing emails, uh, delete backups my settings. What I'm going to do now is enable two-factor authentication to make sure my account's more secure. So go to sign in settings 
add a phone number, your current password. They'll text you a code. Press continue. Turn on two-factor authentication. Which authentication method? I'm going to choose authentication application. So I scan the barcode. It gives me a six-digit code. I press verify, update. Then it creates a really long two-factor authentication code, which I need to copy and keep it somewhere safe for future use. And I sign back into my account. It asks me to go through the verification process. So I use Authenticator app on my phone, which gives me a code. Trust this browser, enter code, and we are in. I'd been using Backblaze for 15 days and my trial had expired. So I thought, yeah, it seems pretty good. So I'm going to buy it. So to buy it, you just go to the back end, press buy, and you choose how long you want, a year, two years. And just bear in mind, there is a 20% tax if you're in the UK. With my connection speed, I was roughly backing up about 46 gigabytes a day. And you can see here, I can log in and see which files have been backed up. I'd also added an additional external hard drive, which is like another four terabytes. So clicking on the drive opens up, shows you the drive structure. The locate my computer feature worked perfectly. It showed you last time I was online, last location reported. As soon as I click map this, that map marker was right on the money. It was pinpoint accurate. So that's always good to know should your machine go missing. The documentation was very good and very detailed with plenty of FAQs. I didn't contact support, but you can see they have a submit request and a chat with the team function on the site. So you can get hold of them if you need to. The whole point of having this software is being able to recover documents. So I created a folder called really important files with the most important person in my life, my Springer Spaniel Storm. So I had some photos of her when she was a puppy. So losing these would be absolutely mortifying. So I thought, okay, I'm going to basically see what happens if I delete them. And can I recover them is the most important thing. So here we go. Oh, they're gone. They're going in the bin. That's it. Going past the point of no return. This better work. To recover the files, go to the Backblaze icon, click on Restore Files. It will then log you into the web interface. And then you can scroll to the directory where your files were. So I put mine on the desktop under Really Important Files. So I press the checkbox. It selected the files. Continue with Restore. So it now gives me a prompt to say your Restore is being prepared. When it's ready, please check your email. So a few moments later, I received an email. I click on the link. And it also says you can download bigger files with a Backblaze downloader. But for the time being, I just wanted to see if the basic download would work. So I pressed download, gave it a few seconds. And it gave me a zip file. I unzipped the file, got rid of the zip file. And then it shows you exactly where it was in the folder structure. So it doesn't, it doesn't put them back exactly where they were, but it does show you the structure. But hey, look at that. Springer files. My dog photos were safe. So Backblaze worked, which was a really good result. I was really happy with that. Restoring a few pictures is one thing, but what about if you've got terabytes and terabytes of data? What other options are there? They'll send you a flash drive or a USB hard drive posted straight to your house and then they'll refund the money once you return the drive or you can keep the drive which is kind of cool because you'd end up with a spare hard drive and it's got all your data backed up on it which I kind of like the idea of that that would come in handy if you were a content creator and say your drive failed and you needed to get gigabytes or terabytes of media files back it's a really good option so overall impressed with Backblaze it's a pretty good bit of software and it's low cost so that's it guys there's a link to Backblaze in the description below don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.